Hi, I'm Michael Silvestri, here again with your first beginner guitar lesson. This is part two. So part one, we did the A minor chord. Then we went from the A minor to the C. Then we went from the A minor chord, the A minor chord to the D. And we kept an even beat with it as we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, switch. Switch. One, two, three, four, two, three, switch. And then we did the same thing with the A minor to the D7. So we're going to go back to the A minor. I link everything to the A minor, see it? And the next chord's a D minor. Now watch. These two fingers go down the string. That always gets everyone confused. But this is the low string. This is the high string. This is the first string. First, second, third. So you get that A minor chord, and then these two fingers in the middle just go down the string, and that's E minor. And then these two fingers work together, and they go back up, and you hit the first finger, and then you have A minor. So then we're going to go back from A minor to E minor. We're going to do the exact same thing. Each drum's on each. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. I saved the best for last. I've so far linked everything to the A minor. Okay, so from the A minor to the C, move one finger. From the A minor to the D7, that first finger stays. It doesn't move. See? The first finger stays when I go D7, A minor, C. But when I go from the A minor to the E minor, I have to move those two fingers. Now, here's where we get into a discrepancy. The next chord is a G chord. And I teach it, and I always teach it to a beginner this way, is we're on the E minor, and you're going to take the third <laughs> finger and move it to the sixth string and the pinky on the first string. Now, here's where the thumb, look where the thumb is. Let me see if I can get the camera angle here right. See where my thumb is? See, if I bring my thumb up like this, and most people say, I can't do it, my pinky won't reach. My pinky, well, it won't reach if your thumb is up there. Um, my hand's bigger. So, we go from E minor to G. And the reason we do the G this way is because going from E minor to G is so much easier. So I do the same thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the way I always teach. Now a lot of people will play the G chord this way. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying there's more than one way to do things. Um, I don't teach it that way. I teach it like this. And that way when I'm going, I can also do, once I have this G chord on, my first thing is free so I can do lots of things. Now I can't do that if I'm playing the G chord like that. It's not going to work because I don't have enough fingers. So there's one of the reasons. Another reason is if I'm going from G, I'm trying to get in closer here so you can see it. I'm going from G to C. See how natural that is? As opposed to this. This is so awkward. And if I wanted to go, I'll just show you, if I wanted to go, see, very, very little motion in the left hand. That's the key, economy of motion. Same thing, th this way would be, it's much more difficult, see, I'm working twice as hard. So, this is a good way to go. There are times when you want to play the G this way, there's no question about it. But for now, if you're beginning, if you're a beginner guitarist and you want to learn, get the basic chords down first. Now, so there's the E minor. The G. With these five chords, we can play hundreds, probably thousands of songs. Now, the only time I will teach a G chord this way is if I have a very young person, a six-year-old or a seven-year-old. Their hand's probably not big enough to do it this way. Otherwise, everyone else is right for us. But ultimately, a six-year-old or seven-year-old can do it this way. And with a very young student, we can do it like this. And to the, with the little triangle. And we can do the wheels on the bus. Go down, 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 down. Or all sorts of little children's songs. Great for six, seven year old kids. A hokey pokey, put your left foot in, left foot in, and you turn it all about. Just these two chords. There's tons of two chord songs, and you can research them on the internet. Uh, 
G, D7 chords, mostly young children folk songs, old folk songs. So once I got this G, E minor, then we have to do, these are the most easiest fingerings. Now at like E minor to C is going to be a little difficult. You see, C to D7 is not going to be hard at all because we have that first finger. Stay in there. You see that that first finger is not going to move, so that's that's not too bad. A C to E minor. Usually, what a lot of students do is just focus on these two fingers and just go back and forth. The first finger is in the way. Uh -huh. So there's the C. Here's the E minor. There's the C, and then you add. And there's the E minor, and then we can do an easy first song. Well, usually, I start with "Stand by Me," so I go. And then to E minor. And most people get this on the first or second guitar lesson. Land is dark, and the moon is the only thing I will see. And then you can play tons of songs. And then again, we, we do the 12 bar blues with a G. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. Here's your four bars, but don't step on There's tons of songs that you can play with just these chords. Lots of old rock and roll. And this is the way to get started because learning something wrong in the beginning because it's a song you want to play is not going to get you to be able to play the guitar. But if you learn the basic chords first, the proper way, and uh, so that, that the reason, again, this G chord, because I see this all the time with people fingering it like this. And there are times you wouldn't, would want to do that. I mean, there's a time I might do it like this if I wanted to. Because I'm doing other things. But I wouldn't teach it to a beginner that way. So I do it like this, I can do... And we'll deal with the right hand later on. For right, for right now, we just want to deal with getting these chord changes down. So let's look at it again. There's G. Notice the first two songs, the first few songs I use. Don't use the A minor chord, even though I linked everything to it. But that's how we tend to do it. So there's all your chords, your basic chords. And with this, you can play literally hundreds of songs, easy songs. Even Eleanor Rigby is just a C. So, very simple two chords. all there is to it. So what you want to do is be able to practice going back and forth. These chords again, here's that G, C thing, so you can see it. There's a D7, C. In the beginning, you won't be able to do that, so you want to go slow. C, D7, C. Tons of songs. I can just hear tons of songs in my head with just these basic chords. Sometimes that's just enough for some people. That's all they want. That's all they need is just those chords to, to play folk songs and campfire songs. And if that works for you, that's great. But if you want more, there'll be more coming. So I hope you enjoyed that and hope you can work on all those chords. And thank you very much and have fun.